Corinth Canal. The Corinth Canal is a man-made canal in Greece, that connects the Gulf of Corinth and the Ionian Sea with the Saronic Gulf and the Aegean Sea. It cuts through the narrow isthmus of Corinth and separates the Peloponnese from the Greek mainland, arguably making the peninsula an island. Mycenae. The Mycenaean period of Greek history takes its name from this important settlement. A center of military power during the second millennium BCE, Mycenae controlled much of southern Greece during its height of power. On a hilltop surrounded by rolling green, it is easy to see the strategic advantages of this kingdom. Pass under the famous Lion Gate and into the walls of this fortified Acropolis. The remains of the ramparts are impressive. Explore the Tholos tombs, including the ornate treasure of Atreus. Lion Gate is the popular modern name for the main entrance of what was the Bronze Age citadel of Mycenae in southern Greece. It was erected during the 13th century BC, around 1250 BC, in the northwestern side of the Acropolis. The granary. The true gold of Mycenae is the ready to harvest wheat, shining in the Sunday. To the right of the gate of the lions, a building of stone masonry was discovered, inside it pithoi, large, clay storage jars, with carbonized grains, wheat and barley, were found. This is why it was called the granary.
Epidaurus. Those in the medical profession may take special interest in Epidaurus, which was an important center of healing and medicine from as early as the 6th century BCE, with its Asclepian healing sanctuary renowned throughout ancient Greece, attracting pilgrims and hard cases. The health center brought wealth to Epidaurus, allowing for the building of infrastructure and public buildings, like its 4th century BCE amphitheater, considered to be one of the finest remaining theaters of prehistoric Greece. It was known for its acoustics and offers sublime views of the surrounding countryside. The theater at Epidaurus survived many years to reach us today. It was originally built to honor Asclepios, but its later additions, such as the two-story scheme, suggest that it was used for conventional plays that were imported from Athens. 